to the UTC Mox Buddy Green. Once again, with the Brick Oven Grill, I want to thank those folks for having us out once again. UTC took their final trip to Marshall, final game in the series between the two ball clubs, the 20th meeting, and uh, the herd prevailed, and I guess they showed why. They're the number one ranked team in the country. Very good football team. Yeah, they, they proved why they're the, the best team in the country, and uh, uh, I've got to give them a lot of credit. My hat's off to them. Uh, Coach Pruitt, Bob Pruitt did a great job. Uh, uh, offensively, they demonstrated why they are, are scoring a lot of points on everybody in the country. Defensively, they're a sound, they're an experienced team, and uh, they control both sides of the line of scrimmage, offensive line, defensive line, and uh, everything was sound. They're a, a very, very good football team. As good a football team, I think, as uh, I've seen as far as one double-A football, and uh, they're going to be a hard team to beat uh, the rest of the season. For those of you that don't know, Marshall making the jump to Division One next year. This is their final year of one double-A. You've got to like their chances. They're the number one team in the country right now in one double-A and will host the national championship game, so a lot of those things are on their side. Uh, plus, they have a little bit of talent, as we'll see in a minute. Yeah, I think that uh, you know, we're going to see from the, uh, from the highlights of the game that we're going to see some guys that are very exceptional at the wide receiver spot. Moss calls a big, uh, Randy Moss, some big passes against us. Uh, Crestor delivered the football all night very well. He did a excellent job of seeing his receivers seeing the field and I guess the you know the main thing about the game was uh, the fact that defensively uh, they controlled the line of scrimmage and uh, uh, gave us trouble uh, trying to throw the football with their pass rush and, and they did a good job of uh, uh, not allowing us to get anything going as far as the running game so uh, they did a, a very good job and, and they showed a lot of class I mean they they, they whipped us uh, in the first half, and, and they had the game under control, and I thought uh, uh, Bob Pruitt and staff showed a lot of class uh, in, the, in the fourth quarter and, and uh, throughout the second half of the football game when they had it under control. They sure did. Let's take a look at the highlights. The UTC Mocs and the Marshall Thundering Herd from last Saturday. Marshall Stadium in Huntington, West Virginia, and they always have a good crowd, over 22,000 on hand to watch this football game, and we'll see Marshall strike early in the game. Uh, this uh, little play-action pass out here to the tight end, and I see Marcel Anderson, <coughs> excuse me, coming up for the uh, to make the tackle, and they're driving on their first uh, first possession. The quarterback is Eric Cresser. He's the transfer from the University of Florida. He was the backup, so to speak, to Danny Werfel and wanted more playing time and transferred to Huntington. You see, Marshall gets a little bit of a break right here. They actually lose the football and recover on the one yard line. So that's break number one for the herd inside. Well, it's. Uh, we knock it loose. That's Kenny Sanders from Lynette, Alabama, knocking it loose. And uh, fortunate for them that they come up with the ball and uh, we're not able to recover it and, and you know, get it back. It had been a big play for us to, to get it back here on the first drive. And so Marshall getting it back on the one-yard line. The Herd take the lead early in the game, getting the extra point. It's a 7-0 Marshall lead. So Marshall scores quickly, and you saw they got a little bit of break on play one. Uh, here's some pressure we talked about. They uh, pressure faster, Brian. Hampton makes a, a nice throw downfield under pressure, and uh, uh, here, we, here we see it again on the replay. And get pressure from the outside, and, and Brian scrambles out of the pocket, and uh, he does a, a, a very good job of, of looking downfield and locating uh, Mark Hill and Mark uh, coming up with a big catch over the middle. Here's Tyrone Coleman. Tyrone has had uh, been uh, banged up a little bit, you know, uh, suffering from a, a bottle with the knee problem, but played and, and played well and. Uh, Tyrone Coleman from Montgomery, Alabama has uh, had some good games for us over the last two or three weeks. Nice throw from Brian Hampton to Denny Koontz, and uh, Denny makes a, a, a good catch out in the, uh, in the area. That's, you know, as far as execution, there were times that, uh, you know, they did a good job of not allowing us to execute our passing game like we need to. Here's Fron uh, making a, a good run and picking up six yards. And his yards are usually tough yards, aren't they? Yeah, tough lot yards inside for the fullback, and... Uh, uh, they, uh, second half was, uh, they, they totally controlled us, uh, our running game in the second half. We weren't able to generate type offense we needed. Nice punt right here. Andy Smith, true freshman, and look at he gets it inside the 10, inside the 5, and inside the 2. That's just right. Andy Smith from Greenville, Tennessee. That's a positive uh, for the night, the fact that Andy, he kicked it inside the 2, inside the 5. Uh, and kept him backed up in his uh, punting, so I think it was a very good job. Here's Crestor throwing downfield to Randy Moss, and uh, nice throw and catch, and that's a that's a big play for them, and it, it's explosive. They have some explosive weapons. The receiver, uh, Randy Moss, a transfer from Florida State, thought to be the number one receiver in the country, and 
He sure showed like uh, he can he can do a lot of things. Can't he had a big night against us. He uh, very talented, good size. Here's Tyrone Coleman again with the run off uh, the left side of the line of scrimmage, and, and Tyrone picks up some good yardage, and they come up with the play, uh, you know, to make the tackle. Here's Brian, and I think this is over the middle of Stephon Hawkins, and Stephon, I think, uh, you know, for redshirt freshman, uh, Stephon's playing well. He's uh, returning punts for us, and he's had some big catches for us in the early season, and, and I think that uh, uh, the things that he's doing as far as catching the football, uh, Stephon's having a you know, good early season for us. We need to talk about those receivers because you lost so many veterans on your receiving core from last year, and this group has stepped right in there. Yeah, they have. We, we have uh, every opportunity we've had to catch a football. Uh, we've done a good job of catching the ball. Here's a, a good tackle on special teams. Uh, Quasi Vincent. I, I talked before one of the positives that we had out of this was performance. Unfortunately, we had to punt too many times, but uh, our kicking game and our special teams play again was... Uh, Something I've been been proud uh, for the last uh, or for the first five weeks of the season. See Brian Hampton's arm strength a little bit right before the half, and it looked like he was he was hit hard after he released the ball, wasn't he? Yeah, and he was uh, you know, banged up his shoulder and uh, also his right hand. So uh, we go in halftime, and on that last play before half, uh, Brian was uh, you know banged up a little bit. We come to the second half, and with, with Jeff Peters, our, our senior quarterback and captain. Here's luck a little bit again, where that one could have been picked off, or but luckily it falls to the ground with Mox. I think this is Mark Saban in the football game at quarterback, and UTC puts pressure on the quarterback, and that's Kareem Robinson. Kareem Robinson with the big sack, and uh, you know this is later on in the ball game, and, and uh, I could give uh, our defensive guys. Uh, we came out and fought the second half and offensive side of the ball. It's like it's not like we threw in the, uh, the, in the towel and said that. Uh, you know, this is going to be uh, all we have. Here's uh, Jeff Peters with the throw uh, out in the flat to Freddie Patrick. Freddie from Savannah, Georgia, and, and Freddie comes up with a nice catch. And uh, we just, you know, we didn't get it going. No consistency, and uh, execution-wise wasn't there. Uh, it wasn't like we needed to uh, to play with a very talented team. And here's another example of Andy Smith punting the football. Our punt coverage team, uh, you know, did a very good job against Martin. Martin, the number one see a returner in the conference. Here's uh, Freddie Patrick again with a nice run. This is late in the ball game and uh, uh, Marshall has the game under control. Again, Freddie makes a, a run and, and gets it inside the territory. But uh, like I said, they controlled the line of scrimmage and uh, my hat's off to, uh, to Bob Pruitt and the Marshall staff. And I think they have an excellent football team. Uh, we're in no way are we pleased with, uh, you know, the way we, we played and uh, very disappointed uh, with the loss, uh, mainly with the the fact that uh, our execution wasn't anywhere uh, close to what we needed to be in the, the ball game with a very good team. You go to Marshall, uh, where they have a great crowd, a very uh, hostile place to play, and that's where it should be when you're at home. It's you should be uh, have the home advantage, and uh, we didn't do the things offensively or defensively to to execute, to be competitive, to have a chance to to play with Marshall and. Uh, they did the things that are necessary, plus they have a very talented football team, well coached, and uh, you know they, they got a good team. They did a great job. We'll be back with more on the Buddy Green Show from the Brick Oven Grill in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to the Buddy Green Show. Once again, we want to say thanks to the folks at the Brick Oven Grill for having us out this evening. Each week on Coach Green's program, we have the opportunity to meet some of the UTC players. This week, defensive back Clint Allegood has joined us, along with fullback slash tailback slash receiver Fran Dianjou. Let's start with Clint. You've been in the program for a while a little bit. Compare teams a little bit, or, or look at your progress. Now you're a guy that they rely upon, has started many games, and the only games you haven't started is because you're injured. You've, you've come a long way in your career here, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Uh... I think that was, uh, that's what Coach Green is looking for is to uh, to keep people in the program, you know, as far as seniors, because if I've been here for three years and we've never had more than ten seniors, you know, for one of those years, uh, this year I think we have nine, uh, and he's looking the pro is it's just adding up, and I think when he get, we can have about twenty or more seniors, you know, on his football team, then uh, it's going to be a, bit, a good solid program. Talk about the defensive backs overall, and, and you're a guy that has seen a Ronnie Fogg come in. A Marcel Anderson come in, a Quasi Vincent come in, and really add the depth at that position. Uh, with like before all those guys come in, we had athletes, you know, and I we had 
some good athletes out. I just don't think everybody played together as one, as you know, as a whole secondary unit. Uh, these guys came in, Ronnie, Marcel, and Quasi, and uh, <clears throat> you know, were good athletes. And now, in their second year of all three, all three of them being together on the field, I think uh, you know, it's, it's more of a more of a unit out there, as you know, rather than just single. Ron DeAnjou in his first year with the UTC program. I interesting way that you got here, because people in Chattanooga, even though you're from Vicksburg, Mississippi, know about you. Fran is the all-time rushing leader in the high school ranks in the city of Chattanooga, playing at Baylor. Uh, was it Austin P? Went to Mississippi State and decided to kind of come to your second home again, right? Tell me how you fit in the UTC program, and I guess you are the designated uh, short yardage guy, right? Whether it be they, whether it be throwing it to you or uh, handing it off to you. Right. Uh, well, at Mississippi State, you know, I was kind of the short yardage guy there, too. But, uh, you know, to come here and, 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 you know, I had two things that I wanted to do, and that was to come in and play and win, you know, as far as uh, uh, football is concerned, you know. And then plus the opportunity, like you said, of, of being the city leading rusher, hopefully somebody will, will recognize <laughs> me there and, you know, to be easy for a job or something like that, you know. But, but you know, obviously, you know, you want to come and play and, and win, you know, and I was just – ready to play and, and help out the team the best way I could. Fran, one of those guys, kind of, you took one for the team in the fact that you're really a tailback. That's the position you like to play, right. but said, yeah, I'll play fullback because that's what UTC needed. Right. They, they definitely uh, needed one. And then when, uh, you know, Mario Greer went to the draft, you know, the spot was open. And also uh, with a guy, Isaac White, a uh, pretty good freshman, and, and he got injured, you know, so now I have to play uh, fullback a little bit more. So, uh, but I know my role, of course, you know, I'm a natural, uh, more of a natural runner, but, uh, you know, blocking, you know, I think, you know, to be a complete back, you got to be able to block and be able to catch and things like that, and that's mainly what the fullback uh, position uh, does here at UTC, and it really uh, has helped me out to be a better player. Clint Allen, good, one of those guys uh, in grad school right now. That's a little bit unusual. What's what's the next step for you? Uh, not sure. Looking for, <laughs> looking for a job. Um, you know, as soon as I finish grad school, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for the right job. You know, location is not not too much a priority. It's a uh, major the, the jobs what I'm looking for. What do you want to do? Um, I thought about property development. Uh, you know, I, I graduated with a degree in management, general management. Uh, so right now I'm kind of open to anything, but uh, somewhere in the long lines, you know, management, property development, and in that area. He wants to be one of those rich guys. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? What's your major? What's what are your goals? Uh, general business administration. Uh, my mom has a little uh, a grocery store back home, and uh, hopefully, I want to uh, work uh, probably in the city for a little while, bid up a little uh, cash, and then go back there and take it over. You know, and uh, with uh, the management uh, degree, you know, hopefully, I can come out, you know, managing the store and things like that. And just but it wouldn't be a hostile takeover. No, it wouldn't okay. be. Not yeah. like that. You know, but uh, <laughs> just go back and, and and help the family business out. Two members of the UTC football team, Clint Allegood out of Florida, Fran Diageu from Mississippi. Back with more on the Buddy Green Show in just a moment. <laughs>